Welcome back to the UGF Pamas. Title fight in Charlotte. Yes, we are in the ACC Championship, and we're playing a 7-5 Clemson. So far this season, they've lost to Kent State, Central Michigan, Georgia Tech, and Louisville. Also, they lost to South Carolina at the end of the season by one point. I don't know what to expect in this game, because, like in real life, a 7-5 team would obviously get blown out by a 12-0 team, but in this video game, you never know. They are rated lower than we are, but barely. And Tyler Bighead is still in the lead for the Heisman watch, above our guy Rayshon Tanner. Not much we could really do because we had those two bye weeks back to back, thanks to our scheduling mishap at the beginning of the season. The game of the week is Georgia between Auburn in the SEC Championship. Georgia wins, they'll move on to the National Championship to play us, assuming we win, by the way. This is by far our best defense we've ever had. They've been so unbelievably good. It's shown us the roster that we're going to have next season if everybody stays and nobody goes to the NFL, of course. Jimmy Williams, Daniel Sanders, and Mike. Still a solid group. 98 overall center, 91 receiver, and a 91 quarterback. Yep, don't want to sleep on these guys. Back here in Charlotte, and this time, there's no snow. So that's nice. Clemson Tigers. First time ever playing them in this series, and it's our chance to get a win. They are what's standing in the way of us moving on to the biggest game in school history. Oh, here come the planes. Oh, that one just kind of like went off to the left. Is that guy okay? Did he crash? Can we check on that guy, please? Nope, oh, make sure we actually return it. I'm coming straight up the middle. Oh, he's still on his feet. Oh, will he get back up? He's scaring me there, Tanner. Starting it off with a handoff to Tanner. Oh, he got rocked, but he's okay. Eight yards to start it out. Second and two, let's hand it off to our second running back, Marcus Hawley. And oh my goodness, he got torn apart. Maybe it's time for a fullback. Third and three, and I'm going to run the ball with my fullback. If you think that's crazy, you've come to the wrong channel, and you've come to the wrong school. Because this is what we do here at UGF. We got the first down, barely. Oh, look at that spin. Too bad it was only for three yards. That was a beautiful cut. See that one again. Oh, yeah, that guy stood no chance. Oh, we got the tight end. Doherty. I feel like every reception he's made has been over 20 yards. We got circle. What a dot over the head of the linebacker. Perfectly placed football. Screen pass, didn't even get it off. Almost picked off by the defensive lineman. Let's go. Makes this a lot easier. Third and short. Get there. One yard short. Got a decision to make. Uh, I'm going to be conservative in a game like this. You need all the points you can get. The old goal is up, and it's good. <gasps> Are you serious? Auburn ends up beating Georgia 42-35. to That means I have no idea who would be playing next week. This is madness. It's got to be a run, right? Hand off up the middle, and we stop it. And in motion, he'll definitely run. Can we get there? Yes! We stuffed him behind the line. Oh, can he get around him? Can we get a punt return in the ACC Championship? Tries to hurdle a guy. Couldn't get it. But what a return. 34 yards. Going screen pass. Couldn't even get it off. The, these defensive linemen are so smart. Oh, we've got the running back, and he's wide open. Yes. Let's go, Ray Sean Tanner. That's some clutch play. Oh, they were breaking over. Get rid of that. Jimmy Williams, he's got some space. Go out of bounds. Sweet. No fumbles, and we pick up the first. Give me that drag. Oh, Sanders doing his crazy catches again. That was only for three yards, bud. You didn't have to risk your entire life for that catch. Oh, we got a break on the line. Harris! Damon Harris popped out of his hands. Hit him right in the palms. Might as well take this field goal, I guess. Go up by, a, like, a touchdown. We got it. Six to zero. Come on. Oh, Montgomery, he didn't turn around in time. Thank goodness he was able to recover and make the tackle. Need some help, and we got it from Sam Ramirez. Tackled him behind the line. Look at Hoffman fighting through the block. Two back-to-back -back tackles for loss. 
Oh no, I didn't see it was a screen pass. Will Smith, let's go. Perfect open field tackle. Come on, Sam McDonald, great catch. Cornerback kind of overextended himself and missed the ball. Just give me a handoff to Tanner. That'll do, nine yards, not bad at all. Oh, they're readjusting, but they're going to the wrong side. Oh, he hit him with the juke. He was ready for the spin. He's been watching the tape, and then you switched it up on him. Another first down thanks to Tanner. He's been our workhorse this game. Slant routes. Sam McDonald trying to get fancy, but alas, we move the chains. Bo, go Bo. Hand off to Tanner. Read option, he's still on his feet. Not able to get to the end zone. Stacking it up on the line. This is what we do though, fullback you. Get that touchdown. Let's go AJ Nichols, or Brandon Nichols. One of the Nichols, you did it. Not gonna take a two point conversion just yet. I don't think we really need it. That was an option play, what are they thinking the cornerback? Poor guy probably got a concussion. That's all Will Smith. Oh, he couldn't bring him down. Montgomery couldn't bring him down. Ramirez will lay him out though. Quick pass, and Mike's gonna pick that one off. Give me that return. Stay on your feet, Mike. Stepping out of bounds is fine. But well, we set a school record for interceptions in a season. Launching it to the back of the end zone. Whoa! What a catch! Let's see this one again. See if he's actually in bounds. Okay, he's just celebrating. But I want to see the replay. Was this guy in bounds? The cannon from Jimmy Williams. And yes, Sam McDonald gets it done. Celebrating in the crowd already. We can smell that natty. Yes, Blitz got to him. Throws it out of bounds. Didn't even try to find the open receiver. Todd Mitchell comes in for one play and gets beat. Dang it, Todd. Got the corner, he's got the blocks, and he's got the touchdown. Took him a while to score, under two minutes left in the second half. Oregon's currently losing to USC. Interesting, so I, I have no idea who we're gonna be playing in the national championship if we win this game. Breaks off one, let's go. Oh, dang it, I saw that green grass. Got so excited. Fullback U, it's gonna do that to We didn't get it. They stopped fullback U. No one's covering the flats. They've got good blocks. Oh, thank goodness. Fresh Prince of Fairburn nudges him out of bounds. We had all day to throw it. What? Montgomery gotta go for that pick, or at least try to deflect it. Running back's not there. Oh, Montgomery broke on this one. You made up for it. You made up for it. That's all me. Fowler does it again. Another pick six. What's that three on the season for him? This is insane. <laughs> get him to the NFL. He's, he's not even a high overall, but get this man to the NFL. This guy can play. Who needs an offense when you got the UGF Panda defense? At the half, we're pulling away, up by 20 points, thanks to our outstanding defense. It's an option play. He took a bad angle. And he's still going. Mike across the field, and Will Smith across the field. Ridiculously long quarterback run. And Mitchell flying out of nowhere. Jeez, man. Nobody's gonna be open. No, he breaks off the sack. Throws it to the ground. Field goal is good. 27 to 10. Can we get those outside blocks? Let's go. Beat 57. Freaking diving tackle. Dang it. Third and six, and we're definitely not gonna get that first down. Holy Jesus. About to take the man's head off. 
what the heck was that? Manning was just sitting there and he threw it straight to him. That's the most bizarre interception I've seen in a long time. What a catch from Sam McDonald with the safety clapping him. Gonna go to tight end. I should have looked at across the middle. We had Damon Harris. Just a mental mistake. Would be a screen pass. Wasn't ready for that. We got to him anyway. Another screen pass. Back to back ones. And we still get him. What an effort from Noah Curtis. Step up in that pocket. Come on, O-Lyman, don't do this to me. Come on, man. I got suction cup to his butt. Easy first. Let's go, Tanner. He's now over 100 yards on the game. We're gonna hit Tanner out of the backfield. Just throwing people off him. 55 yards with the wind against us. But we're gonna try it, because this will be a career high for J.P. Stevenson. I believe we got full power. Oh my, that's such a cop out. Binks off the post. No good. And USC takes out Oregon. Number two and number three fall today. Who the heck are we going to play for the national championship? Number seven, Michigan State beats Iowa, so maybe it's going to be them. They're going to run the ball in this situation? What are they thinking? Wasting their own time. It's gonna be short of it. They got, what, 45 seconds left? It's gonna be even more until they hike this ball. Into the flats. Barely enough for the first down, so it's gonna stop the clock momentarily. They're moving at a snail's pace. And he stays in bounds! That'll end the game. Brandon Montgomery, what an absolute beaut. Seal this one up. We've had multiple interceptions in like the past like six or seven games. And we're moving on to the national championship, boys. Nobody stands in our way now. The undisputed number one team in America as we head into the final week of play. Bowl season is upon us and we're going to the biggest one of them all. Everybody's celebrating. The young gun, Jimmy Williams leading his team, Sam McDonald. A sensational senior getting player of the game. And we finally are ACC Conference Champions. Raise it up, coach. Stats on the game. Jimmy Williams, 12 of 23, 174 yards and one touchdown. Rushing today, Rayshon Tanner, 19 carries, 107 yards. Brandon Nichols, the fullback, got our only rushing touchdown today. And receiving, Sam McDonald was dominant in terms of all the receivers. Five catches, 104 yards, and a touchdown. You love to see the seniors play well, especially in one of their final games. Will Smith led us in tackles with nine. He had two for loss. One of them was a sack. We had four picks again on this game. One for Fowler, which was a pick six. Brandon Montgomery, Reggie Manning, and Mike, of course, who's had 10 this season. Time to go to the trophy room, add all of this stuff. ACC championship trophy added to the buckets. Coach Romo is now level 25. Let's go. Our recruiting side is basically filled up. I don't even care that much about the pipelines thing. I guess it's finally time we dip our toes into the game management side. I'm gonna go with the Road Warrior. I actually like the Ice the Kicker feature, so I'm gonna not touch that. There you go, we get no controller vibration, which I don't think I have set on anyway. You took the team to the top of the ACC. Focus on keeping the players loose, yet prepared. Keep the players loose, that sounds dirty, AD. Check out the bowl projections. Boise State, Oregon State, Northern Illinois, Nevada. Let's see, where are there actually any interesting games here? San Diego State and Stanford. Tyler Dolphin Noise is about to be in that game. Notre Dame versus Ohio in the Little Caesars Bowl. Trust me, you don't want to eat at Little Caesars. It will give you diarrhea. Just don't do it. 10-2 Army is going against Louisville in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Uncle Sam's Rejects putting in work up there at West Point. East Carolina versus Alabama. Mississippi State Clemson. Auburn versus Iowa in the Capital One Bowl. I don't think that'll actually happen though because Auburn did beat Georgia, so they're about to move up. South Carolina versus Purdue in the Outback Bowl. Michigan State versus Oregon. Oklahoma State versus Rutgers in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. LSU versus Virginia Tech in the Orange Bowl. 
I think we might actually be playing LSU in the national championship then. Toledo versus Texas State in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, the GOAT Bowl. In the national championship, Georgia versus UGF. Georgia just lost, so they're definitely not going to be in there. Georgia just lost. Oregon just lost. LSU didn't even have a game. I guess it would be LSU because they have the higher point rating for BCS. It would be weird playing a three-loss team in the championship, but whatever. Here goes nothing. Let's see if we won Heisman. Let's see who we're playing for the natty. You're kidding. Tyler Dolphin Noise won the Heisman over Rayshon Tanner. He had almost 300 more votes than Rayshon Tanner. Dang it, Tyler XXXX. Oh, but we got all these other awards. Fowler won the Bednarik. Let's see what else we won. The, the Nagurski, also to Fowler. The Linebacker of the Year to Fowler. Mike won the Jim Thorpe Award. We won Returner of the Year with Rayshon Tanner. We won Coach of the Year. That's no surprise. Yes, my prediction was right. We are going to play LSU for the National Championship. A three-loss team. The SEC bias is real. Kirk is still going to stick with them for the national championship. They don't think we can do it. My guy lost to Air Force, and he still won the Heisman. We're checking out his stats. He had 23 rushing touchdowns, 2,000 rushing yards. He also added 204 receiving yards, and that's it. That's all he did. Rayshon Tanner had 1,075 rushing yards, 17 touchdowns. He also had 310 yards receiving, one touchdown there. On top of that, he had 1,300 return yards with three kick return touchdowns. I mean, I'll let you decide who had the better season, but I think I'm going to have to go with my man, Rayshon Tanner. Hey, he still won the best return guy, which he very much deserved. Let's go look at the All-Americans, see how many guys we had there. Well, Jimmy Williams not up there for first-team quarterback. We had Tavares Walker up there for first-team left tackle. Defense, Noah Curtis, Connor Hoffman, Nehemiah Fowler, Mike... Sam Ramirez, Will Smith, Reggie Manning, Rayshon Tanner for returner. Our whole freaking secondary. Two of our linebackers are defensive line. All first team All-Americans. If they don't get drafted, I'm fighting somebody. Second team, Matt Stevens and Mike Holt. Jeez, man, like how many people do we have on here? Brandon Montgomery, Mike Holt, obviously a freshman All-American. Jimmy Williams finished third in passing yards. Rushing leaders, Rayshon Tanner finished 60th. And receiving leaders, Daniel Sanders, 38th. Tackle leaders, we had the top four guys all season. Connor Hoffman at the top was 64. Sack leaders, Mike Holt had nine. Interception leaders, Mike had 10. Leading the nation, Brandon Montgomery was behind him with seven. Longest field goal, we were number nine. If we would have made that one in the ACC championship, we'd be tied for number one. Vanderbilt and UCF in the Music City Bowl. I feel like Vanderbilt's cursed to play in the Music City Bowl forever. Georgia and Iowa in the Capital One Bowl. That always seems to be the bowl game where everyone's like upset to be there. Like they, they had higher hopes for the season. They were a good team, but they, they weren't good enough to make it to the championship. The Rose Bowl game, Michigan State and USC. Who is number four? Yeah, Auburn is number four. Man, it would be cool to have a college football playoff in this game, but sadly we do not have that. Ohio State, Virginia Tech in the Orange Bowl, and of course, the BCS National Championship, UGF, LSU. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this video. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. But as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in the National Championship. Peace. Give me another cut. Let's go, Tanner. I'll run him. Let's go, Tanner. This will be his third kick return of the season, and he gets it done.